How guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Streams using Smart Technology Gains. Sorry about my um, camera lens cap that's swinging in the way there. All right, so you guys know I'm always working on something new, some form of new technology, some, some way to upgrade the screen uh, ability. Now this upgrade or um, this new uh, research won't cost you guys anything at all. You guys are thinking, oh, he's coming up with another screen, he's going to charge another price. No, no, this is... This is, some, this is to improve our previous product uh, to basically give our customers a better, a, better, um, um, a better screen. Now, just to add, the previous service we're using is absolutely fantastic. I love it. It works well with the chemical. I've done demonstrations on it. It looks amazing. Um, but the problem with that particular surface is that how we ship it. Now, this is the size that these are some of the customers that are be going out on, on Tuesday. This is the size of what the screens look like. Now the big box you've seen over here, don't think about that one. That's an actual projection screen someone ordered. Uh, that's different. But the tubes that you're seeing on the ground, that is the blackout cloth. Now we have blackout cloth that is about 93 inches. Um, that costs a lot of money when we ship it overseas. So we have to basically put on the website that we can't ship screen sizes that are over 94 inches, which is really not fair. So the next step was to design a surface that we could fold up, send to air our customers overseas, and they could take the screen out of their um, fold up compartment, which wouldn't cost a lot of money to ship it over because it would be in a small box. And they could take the screen out and they could stretch it out and they could basically build their own projection screen without any worries of wrinkles or creases in the screen. Now, I'm going to show you the material that I found. Now, not only is this amazing with the material, I'm going to tell you another plus side to this. Um, the factory is literally right around the corner from my house, which I never knew. They actually process all kinds of cool different forms of surfaces. I never really popped in there and looked until a couple days ago. I said, you know what? Uh, me and my wife just popped in there and yeah, I found some pretty cool stuff to work with. So, what is this? This is a form of eight-way, um, form of memory stretch material. Now, this material, once coated with our chemical, um, we could fold this up. This came, actually, I bought this folded up, so the screen was actually, when well, a surface, now it's a surface first. This is a surface. The surface was folded over and over again and again and again into a nice little neat little, um, 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 little folded little, to a nice little bundle and then it is basically put into that little box way over there it's put in that little tiny box right there now what I like about this is it comes with a form of tissue paper which I went online and ordered a ton of this because the tissue paper is very important as the screen is in transportation uh, the screen is still curing so we basically put this in between your screen and this will keep this one part of the screen from sticking to the other while the screen is actually um, curing and that way when you unravel your screen you won't have it sticking to the other part because this will be uh, diffusing that situation. Now with this in mind to think we could ship a screen that's 200 inches 235.1 overseas and it will not cost an arm and a leg. It won't cost you a ton of money e either when it comes through customs. So this would make it 10 times easier on top of that material is extremely flexible, um, very easy to use and also too you can pull out all your wrinkles and, um, and folds in the screen with no problem. Now I'm going to show you what the surface looks like once it's coated with our chemical. Now this is the surface right here. Now mind you, look how flat and how beautiful. There's no wrinkles, there's no folds. The, it looks fantastic. And mind you, it came from that, all right? It was, we, we picked up the package in this, and this is the surface. Look how flat, look how beautiful it looks. I'm going to show you right here. See, this is the material I left a little bit on the end so you guys could see exactly that it is the same material. And I left an area at the bottom, a little wrinkle right here, so you can see exactly. Now, this didn't come, the surface didn't come wrinkled like this. Um, this is um, caused by when I put the staples into the screen, but I just want to show you that all I would have to do is just grab this and just put a little pull on that. There's just a little pull, that's it and that screen's flat. Not a lot of work. I didn't put a lot of staples into the screen because I wanted to show you um, exactly how easy to just pull and staple your screen. Now you can do this over your plywood or you can do this over uh, um, your customized frame, whatever you choose, but the material is very, 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 very flexible 
and it's fantastic. Okay, so let's show you the demonstration. And basic when it's coated with our smart technology gain and our crystal rich technology chemical, it looks, it's gonna look fantastic. Now, just to add, now even though we're gonna up, we'll do we'll do our we're designing a more efficient upgrade surface. Uh, just to add, um, this is for the reason why this is being done is because not because the previous surface surface is failing. The previous surface is fantastic. It works amazing with our, um, our 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 screens. I'll put a video at the bottom so those of you who are watching for the first time can see what that new surface looks like. The new PVC, then PVC. The problem is the fact that it's very very. It's, it's a we have to put ship it on a roll, and because we have to ship it on a roll, the screens can become quite large, and this makes it very expensive to ship overseas. So actually, to fix that problem, um, we design. We, we're working with this surface. This surface will allow us to be able to fold the screen up and ship it overseas, and the customer could just stretch it right on out. It's going to look fantastic. All right, so I'm going to come over here real quick. I'm going to do this demonstration, and you guys will enjoy this. So there's the surface right there, right in the middle. Look at how fantastic that looks. And right there, that's the big boy screen. That is my 180 inch. This is the uh, dark silver we're using. Now mind you, a screen of this caliber, look how big the screen is. We could fold that up and put that into a little shipping box and you could take that home and you could stretch the, all the wrinkles out, just pull it out, don't do a lot of stretching and pull, just pull it out, stretch out your screen and this is what you're gonna get. Try to run screens a little crooked there on the wall. I didn't really look at that correctly. So look at this. Look at the angle gain on our screens. The angle gain on our screens are freaking insane. Now you got screens up there on the market that will turn jet black. If you try to view that screen at any angle, they'll turn black on you. Look at this. Yeah, plenty of light in this place. Look at this. Step back here a minute. I gotta really gotta watch where I'm going. Let you put this on break my neck. Now, do you know the price to ship a screen of the size that I have right here? This is a 180 inch, 80, 180 inch screen. The price that it would cost to ship this screen overseas would be very expensive. But because we have the new surface. The new surface will allow us to be able to fold the screen, compact it, put it into a little box, ship it overseas, and you guys could have this with no problem. Pretty much, we can ship it anywhere we want. We can ship it to Texas. I think California is would be California is quite expensive uh, to ship to. Like I said, because it's on the other end. Um, but by with this new material, it'll make it so much easier. Look at this. Look at the surface. Look at the surface. You don't see one wrinkle. You don't see any folds in the screen. Look at that. Now this is what you want. You want a screen that looks like an HD TV. These screens are absolutely amazing. Look at this. Look at the quality of these screens. I can go all the way back here, and my screen looks fantastic. Look at that. Hold on for a minute. I'm gonna pause that for a minute. I want you to see up close how beautiful this screen is. Now, mind you, this screen came and it's folded up. Look, folded up. We can roll this up. Now I'm gonna just just ball this up because that might not be a good idea, but it's still gonna it's gonna stretch out either way. I might do a demonstration on that. I might push the limits on that one. But you know me, I, I always go as far as I can possibly go with these screens, and I put these screens through some pretty brutal testing, you know, because I want to know if my screens are gonna survive in any kind of hostile environment. But look at that. 
this screen, because a lot of people say if you fold the screen, it's going to come out with a lot of wrinkles and stuff. Look at this. And this is the beautiful thing about our technology. We can coat any surface we want. Now, if we did this on film or some kind of compressed material, we would be plagued with all kinds of wrinkles and folds in the screens. We could not compact the screen. Now, we could fold this screen up into a little tiny box and ship it to you. And you can have a 200 inch, 300 inch screen and just pull, stretch it out, and it'll look just like this. Not one wrinkle, not one imperfection. Perfect. That's what you want. Well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Age Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I'd like to thank you all for watching.